do I need to say my title or anything? Are you going to put engineer or just, or just going to say, like, you know, Pete was saying I'm a mastering engineer at a, do I need to say any of that good, cool. I feel very fortunate I was born in Memphis. I started working at Sun Studio when I was 16 as a tour guide, and then I would be the assistant engineer till late in the night. And I worked my way from assistant to second engineer to the main engineer. My name is Matt Rossbang. We're here in Sam Phillips Recording Service in Memphis, Tennessee. I had kind of thinking about going independent for a while. This great producer, Dave Cobb, called me and asked if I could do a one-day session at Fame on this great artist, Anderson East. I said, sure, and I went down there and we did it, and about halfway through, he asked if I would like to engineer uh, Jason Isbell's What Would Be Something More Than Freeze album. And I said I'd love to, and so I, I was able to like really jumpstart it into a career as an independent. The part about being in Memphis is it's not just a local studio, it's Sun Studio, or it's Sam Phillips, or it's, or it's these studios that change the world and create all your favorite records. You realize how much of this stuff came from your town. As an engineer, you start delving into the engineers and the producers, and there's Sam Phillips and Willie Mitchell and Chips Moman and John Fry. I mean, all these incredible engineers and producers, and then you start going to the, look at the studios and the equipment and stuff. So I think you can tell by this room that I, I really love gear. Because to me, it's a really about the performance and capturing a moment. And so I think that's really important for me is that this stuff should be transparent and, and almost invisible. I shouldn't have to worry about it or think about it. And one of the things I love about Spectrasonics in that is that when I walk out there, when I hear the guitar and I come back in and I pull up a fader on, the, on this console, it sounds like that. I hate using different pre for every different thing. I like a uniform sound. I think it cuts down on phase shift and weird sounds and all this extra patching and running cable, all these things that can degrade the sound and most importantly take up time that we should be focusing on a performance. Some of the first Spectre Sonics gear I got was 610s. They're on pretty much every record I've done in the last five years because it's such a different compressor. It does peak limiting and compression. Once you understand peak limiting, you can understand the signal chain of it. You can put it before a pre, you can put it after a pre, you can peak limit the source, and then when you're mixing, you can put it before your compressor or your reverb and affect the way those sound. They're incredibly fast, so you can eliminate the peak on a snare that's triggering your 1176, that's, that's actually not triggering the transient, it's triggering this voltage peak. You can eliminate that peak and then your 1176 can actually do what it's, what it's wanting to do, what it's supposed to do. Not many pieces of gear do that. They're one trick ponies or they just do their one thing. But this piece of gear can change every other piece of gear you have. And the, the combinations are endless. Mm -hmm.